Girls, I am willing to. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the choice of a partner, it's a very uh, hard thing to do. Uh, you know, you can, you can choose the wrong partner. And uh, there will be a problem, like a lifetime problem. But if you ask God and choose the right partner, it will be a blessing for the whole lifetime. Mm -hmm. You know, you're looking right now at a blessed man. You know about that? Mm -hmm. Very blessed. Mm -hmm. Because I have a right wife for me personally. Amen? Amen. Amen. We've been living with Anne and, uh, for 21 years. Just like our church, 21 years. Uh, 1994 was very important year for myself, you know. In 93 I got saved, in 94 I became a pastor, never studied anywhere, and I uh, got married in 94. So for 21 years we've been living together. Wonderful, wonderful. Amen? Uh, so I believe that will be like a transference of anointing. Amen! Amen. Anybody wants to be blessed? Yes! Well, <clears throat> There is wisdom in the Bible. Can anybody give me a Bible, please? An uh, English Bible. I have a Russian one, but it won't do any good. So, oh yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, that's a kind of uh, carrying the Bible with you. Okay. Uh, can I have this thing over here, please? Would you? So, uh, turn to your neighbor and tell him like that. You'll be very blessed tonight. You'll be very blessed tonight. Okay. You know why you're going to be blessed? You're going to be blessed because you know what you're not supposed to do and you know what you are supposed to do. Amen? Well, let's turn to the Bible in Genesis 2, 18. In the very beginning. Genesis 2. 18. We shall read here, but it's all right. And the Lord God said, It is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him a helpmeet for him. Is it the right translation? Yes. Helpmeet for him. But uh, another translation uh, says comparable to him. The, uh, the helpmeet that comparable to him. Uh, in, the, in the Russian we have the word соответствие. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, it's not the same like com comparability, you know. Соответствие, you know what means соответствие? It's like the key that goes to the hole and, you know, uh, uh, compat some, compat yeah, compar compatibility. Compatibility, yeah. Because it can be a misunderstanding with these translations. You know, uh, when I think about it, uh, it doesn't mean that I'm supposed to be perfect and she's supposed to be perfect, but it uh, says that some my minuses will be covered by her pluses, okay? Mm -hmm. And vice versa, too. Yeah. For example, I'm good at making decisions, but uh, my wife has a very good intuition, you know? Mm -hmm. And we can uh, enrich one another. Uh, okay, so <clears throat> it's not, uh, Bible says it's not good uh, for men to be alone. That's where we start with, okay? Because some people say that I'll be alone for the whole life, you know? Well, it's not the God's will for you. Amen? Amen. 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 <laughs> uh, if we, if we talk about the family, anybody wants to have a good family? Yes. Yeah, you know, even when I was not saved, I would like to have a good family. Amen. Because I had a bad family, actually. You know, I, I didn't want to have that kind of family. So my father and my mother, they divorced when I was 11. I told you about that. Mm -hmm. And uh, I didn't want to have that kind of experience with my wrong family. And especially when you have children, it's very bad. Uh, when your father and mother divorce, anybody had that experience before, just like me? Like, wh whose parents were divorced? You know, what I'm talking about. It's very painful when you... Uh, oh, no, we don't mean it. Thank, thank you. No. Can you turn it off? Oh, thank you. 
Okay, so I did. I, I, I just uh, don't want to have the regular worldly marriage. How about you? Like people get married and uh, have some problems experimenting on my voice or something. Yeah? Yeah. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so people in the world, the world type of uh, marriage is like. Uh, we, we get married, but if something goes wrong, we'll divorce. You know about it? Yes. yes. But uh, as, as Christians, we shouldn't uh, have that kind of perspective. We need to believe that uh, our marriage will be for the lifetime. Is that right? Yes. We have children that will never experience any divorce on the part of their parents. Okay? But... Uh, so we have... So to say, the Hollywood type of uh, family or marriage relationships, the Hollywood type, and let's have like a diagram here. And uh, here we we'll write physical level, physical. Excuse me. Yeah. Then goes emotion. Well, then goes psychological. vice versa, you see, uh, the, if, if you turn this pyramid all around, uh, the spiritual will be here, right? Yes. Like it's supposed to be. Yes. And, uh, but uh, it's perverted. You know, the devil, he perverts everything. God creates something beautiful like sex, but devil tried to, to pervert. Amen? Amen. Uh, physical is the first, the first thing that uh, worldly people uh, pay attention to is physical thing. Mm -hmm. How she looks like or how he looks like. Mm -hmm. If he handsome enough or if she beautiful enough. Uh, this uh, spiritual thing is uh, just the last thing they think about. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? What about her figure? Is she okay? Or, or what about her, his muscles? You know? So, uh, the appearance is number one thing for the worldly people. It's physical. Amen? And uh, the emotions, the psychology, the social thing, but only then is spiritual. Uh, if you are a real Christian, it should be uh, vice versa. Yeah? Please do the same thing, but uh, make it all around. Okay, I need one more piece of paper, uh, somebody to exchange this one. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. So the Hollywood uh, model goes like this. Oh, excuse me, it's different. We'll start with the Hollywood model over here. According to that worldly model, the first thing you need to do, write it here. Find the right person. The second thing, fall in love. <laughs> 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 
you guys excuse me, I just... The next thing, uh, the Hollywood model, by the way, Hollywood model. The next thing, uh, to connect uh, all your dreams and hopes with this man or girl, is that the right word, connect or to join? Yes. Join. Join all your dreams. with him or her. Okay? If this model falls somehow, then need to repeat one one more time uh, from first to the third stage. Right here. Yeah. If these steps steps don't work good, yeah? Fail, fail, yeah, fail. Fail. So what you're supposed to do is this steps fail. Repeat. Repeat. One, two, three. Okay, that's Hollywood mode. Any, anybody agrees with that? Yes. Yeah, the, first, the, the most important thing is just to find the right person. You, you, you feel lonely inside. That, that's the problem. You need to find the right person. And he or she will satisfy all your dreams or needs. Okay. Do you want to know the uh, God's model? Yes. yes. God's recipe for success in your marriage. Hallelujah. Let's write down here. Become the right person. Okay. You agree with that? Because, uh, I mean, <laughs> you are looking for somebody because actually, uh, deep inside, you, need, you feel like uh, you need to have like a perfect match, you know. Uh, I don't know about uh, your country, but in Russia we have a saying like, uh, like a, a philosophy that uh, we are parts, you know. Like I am looking for some parts of mine. Uh, the missing part. Mm -hmm. she, she's, she lives somewhere, but I'm not complete without the missing part of mine. But that's, that's, not, that's not the God's model, you know. You, you are complete in Jesus Christ. Yes. Amen. Amen. And you know what happens if you are not complete? Uh, you feel like you are a loser, really, you know. You feel deep inside that uh, I'm not complete, you know. Hey, somebody who can be a match for myself, you know. Who can, who can be, uh, where is that second part that I'm missing, you know? <laughs> no, no, no. You need to become the right person. Amen? Amen. If you want to marry a prince, you know what you are supposed to become? A princess. A princess, amen? Like, uh, there, there are girls in Russia, they say, uh, yeah, I want to be uh, the general's wife. Why don't you become uh, the lieutenant's wife first? And then he grows and you eventually become a general's wife. Amen! But you know, uh, the, uh, you, you're looking at the general's wife, but don't see all those hardships that they went through, you know? <laughs> they are moving all around. You know how the military people live, you know? They, they, they say, you're supposed to move to the Far East, and they, whew, yeah. 
fly to Far East. And nobody cares, you know. It's uncomfortable. So what? You're lieutenant's wife. Go with your, with your husband. Amen? Amen. So, <clears throat> but nobody wants it. You know, everybody wants it right now. All, all, all worldly people want it right now. Like, uh, if I marry a perfect guy, he will be the answer for all my problems. You know? But that's, that's not the God's way. The second, that's the first thing. The second thing, you know what? The, the second thing is uh, to walk in love. To walk in love. Live in love, no? Yeah? <laughs> Not fall in love, but live in love. Amen. 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 Oh, you know, I am just fallen in love. I just can't help it, you know, it just happened to me. <laughs> She's so beautiful, you know, I just fall, I just couldn't help it, you know. Pastor, I, I'm just dreaming about you, you know, every day I just wake up and just, you know, think about you. Can't help it, you know. Well, anybody had this experience before? <laughs> Walk in God's love, by the way. God's love. God's love. Amen. The third thing uh, you need to do, according to the God's model, see the difference, yeah? Mm -hmm. to, uh, to put your dreams, to put, uh, to not dream, but put your dreams. Put your dreams, all your hopes, on the Lord. Amen? Amen? Because He cares for you. Let's write it down. In God. Amen? Amen. And uh, the same thing, uh, if these steps fail, just repeat it one more time. Amen. 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 So, what model you prefer? It's up to you to decide. Amen. Amen. But uh, there is a difference. Uh, do you want to ask a question or to discuss this thing? Anybody would like to uh, to ask a question? Or maybe you don't understand the world. Yeah. yeah. Some people. Some people say that. Uh, if you marry somebody you are not physically attracted to, you will end up being attracted to other people and then you might fall into adultery. What do you have to say about that, sir? Okay. Uh, that's what we're going to continue with, by the way. Uh, let's see what the Bible says. Amen? Amen. Just, just a moment, please. Ecclesiastes 4.12 So one can be overpowered by another, two can withstand him, and a threefold cord is not quickly broken. Mm -hmm. So you see the three, uh, three, threefold. threefold, say one, one more time, threefold. Three threefold. It's not twofold, you see, it's not fourfold, it's threefold. Uh, I personally believe that uh, Bible teaches us that we are both bodies, spirit, and soul. Amen? Amen? So there needs to be a match on three levels. Uh, not the, just the perfect match, because nobody is perfect, but uh, I, I personally uh, had, uh, in the beginning of the church, 20 years ago, there was a, like a homeless guy who came to the church and he has fallen in love with a beautiful lady and uh, I asked what my pastor thinks about it you know what he said 
this, uh, say, say this guy's name is Sergei. And uh, Randy, Pastor Randy said, you know, if they, uh, Sergei marries Irene, I will eat my shoe. <laughs> <laughs> he, he never ate his shoe. <laughs> well, because they never met him. You know, some, sometimes uh, people, they do, just don't match. And uh, it's obvious for everybody else. You know, he, he, this guy was absolutely homeless, you know. He smelled like homeless, he just acted like homeless, you know. His hair messed up like homeless. And there was a beautiful lady on the stage, you know. He has fallen in love and he said, Pastor, what can I do about it? You know, I just fallen in love with that beautiful lady. Well, <clears throat> I didn't want to insult him or something, you know, but they just couldn't match, you know. So, uh, there is a uh, physical uh, attraction. There should be a uh, uh, physical attraction if people... Uh, I know there are religious churches where a pastor comes and say, you know, Miss, I think you should marry this guy. You know, I think you should marry that guy. You know, and uh, I don't believe in that kind of thing. You know? Like, it, it, you know, and they even say, the Lord told me. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and then people marry because the Lord told the pastor, you know. And they start having the problems, you know. And they come back to the pastor and say, Pastor, Maybe you didn't hear Good. clearly from the Lord. You know? They already have like three children running around, you know. Well, it's too late, you see. Too late. Supposed to be before, you know. What, what were you thinking about? I mean, the Lord gave you the head, right? He, he, you know, anytime people come uh, for the premarital council to me, I, I keep telling everybody, say, you are going to live with him, you know, not me. You need to think about it. You need to pray about it, okay? Is that right? Yes. You follow me so far? Yes. yes. Yeah. You are going to live with him. So, please, don't be in a hurry. Number one thing. Don't be in a hurry. How long have you been meeting him or dating him or her? Well, we fallen in love and, uh, about two weeks ago. <laughs> well, uh, you know, it, it's, it's so short. You know, it's too short to make a decision. Amen? You don't know nothing about him or her. And uh, right now, you know, people meet on the internet. I mean, you, you can put any kind of picture there. You, you, you can probably uh, think that there is a beautiful lady out there, but there is an old man in the way. Just, you know, put a beautiful picture, you know, and just write in good words and, you know, you fall in love with who? <clears throat> you know, anybody can do it now. There are so many um, silly foreigners, uh, they, they know that Russian ladies, uh, Russian girls are so beautiful, so like these old people somewhere in Denmark or Norway, they are writing, but somebody in Russia just put the actress there, you know. <laughs> oh, I'm falling in love, what can I do for you, you know. The, maybe. Uh, yeah, you can help me financially. Please help me financially. <laughs> well, uh, please don't make any d foolish decisions because uh, unless you see the guy or the girl, unless you talk to, not virtually, not on the internet, but re really, you need to uh, to see how he or her acts uh, in uh, the presence of the company, for example. Because uh, when, when, when people meet for, for the first time, we are humans. We try to behave ourselves. <laughs> we, we, we don't want to show our uh, traits of character that uh, we would like to hide, you know. 
So that it's very important to meet in public. To meet in public. Don't meet in private. Guys, girls, don't meet in private. Because uh, uh, I, I hear many times, well, uh, Pastor, I, I meet this uh, guy, well, he is not saved, you know. I know that he is not saved, but he will be saved. Because I will meet him to Christ. But why do you meet in private? Because you are creating the situations that, uh, you know, the regular guys will be, uh, will think that uh, uh, he's supposed to be close to you after a while, you know? Uh, you are not naive. You, you know, you are Christian. And if you are Christians, just don't create this situation, don't create this uh, environment uh, for people to stumble, for men to think that uh, it's okay to kiss you, it's okay to hug you, and even more. Okay? Uh, Bible says uh, in Hebrews 13, 4, marriage is honorable in all, and the bed undefiled. Hebrews 13.4 The bed undefiled. What does it mean, the bed undefiled? It means that the uh, Bible is quite clear uh, that sex before marriage is sin. Well, if I hurt your feelings, so what? I don't want to ask you to excuse me. Amen? It's very clear, you know. I don't know how about you. I knew it when I got saved. That I'm not supposed to do it anymore. Amen? And I wasn't an angel. And uh, I, I, I think uh, there are some people here that had this experience before, but you got saved. And the uh, Bible says that the blood of Jesus Christ has cleansed you from all the iniquities, from all the sins. Amen? Amen. So when you got saved, I personally believe that God has restored your virginity. Mm -hmm. I don't know how about you, but uh, you... It's a spiritual act. Yes. Amen? Amen. Amen? So, uh, even if you had uh, sinned before, but God has uh, restored your spiritual virginity up to you. Amen? Amen. And uh, I have here something that some of you would not like. The vow of purity. Have you seen this before? That's uh, what we have in our church, what we just uh, believe in. Uh, up here, the Philippians 4.13 I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. I promise to God, my future mate and myself to keep my mind and body morally clean and pure so that when I enter the marriage covenant, I'll be able to give myself with a completely clean conscience to my mate. You know what, as a pastor, as your pastor, I believe, uh, many of you go to this church, uh, some not, but uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, I believe that every Christian church is supposed to have a high standard for uh, sexual purity before marriage. And uh, God is calling the young people uh, to something uh, that uh, it, it's, it's like a challenge, you know. Uh, when I got saved, uh, I also was sexual man, you know. But uh, I knew deep inside that uh, I supposed to be pure. Uh, when the pastor will marry me, I'm supposed to be pure. Amen? Deep inside I have a desire to marry these uh, real Christian couples. Uh, you know, when couple already had everything before marriage, you know how people, uh, worldly people act, you know? They, they, they are gossiping, you know? They, they are talking about, well, this uh, bride has a white dress, but you know, we, we know that she is already pregnant, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> what a bad witness! What a bad witness. And, um, 
Bible says that we, uh, how, how can we Christians can defeat Satan? By the blood of Jesus Christ and the word of our testimony. The problem is that many Christians don't have any testimony. You see, you know why I am talking to you like this? Because I have a testimony. Thank Jesus, I have a testimony. Many people in the church don't have. If I ask people to uh, minister to the young people, they say, Pastor, excuse me, I don't have this testament. Frankly speaking, we had sex before marriage, even when we were Christians. And I, uh, I would like to give them something like this, the young people need it. But uh, I cannot speak on this subject. Can, can I speak on money? Can I speak on something else? But I don't have this testimony. You see, Satan wants to steal your testimony. Deep inside, when I was saved, I, I, I just uh, make it clear to my girlfriend, and who used to be my girlfriend. I just said, you know, uh, not, not even kissing. We're not talking about some other things. We, we're not going to kiss before marriage, you know. For the young people, just worldly, normal young people like we used to be, it was nothing, you know. But I, I felt, felt like I supposed to have a testimony, you know. And by the grace of God, we have a testimony. Amen. 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 Maybe uh, you will misunderstand me with something else, but please, please get this. You need to have a testimony. Amen. Even if you have sinned before, it doesn't matter. God has cleansed it. God has, has given you a brand new life. Amen? Amen. But from this moment on, when you sign this covenant, when you sign it, make it serious business. I asked Vasily Yerto to make it this thing like a beautiful piece of paper for you to put it on the wall somewhere like a reminder, you know, that you have given the vow to God. Amen? Amen. Amen. You know, I had this experience before with young people in our church and uh, the interesting thing happened. Some people said, yes, Pastor, we will go for it. But there was another, another uh, group of people that was... Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I will be able to make it or not. <laughs> you know, it's not about you. It's not about how you will be able to make it. It's about God's grace will be able to make it. Amen. Amen. I'm talking to my son like this, you know. So talking to my daughter. If I was your daddy, okay, say for instance I am your daddy, you, you're not just a girl here, you know, you like my daughter, I would like to have the best for you, amen? amen. I would like for you to be pure before God, before other people, amen? amen? But you know, Pastor, all these temptations all around, you know. No. I can do all things. What what does it mean? All things. All means all. From you know the the Greek version of all is all. Yeah? <laughs> Through Christ, which strengthened me. Amen. 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 So, what do you think about? Will we be able to make a vow tonight? Yes. We have these two witnesses here. <laughs> Amen. The signatures. Uh, you can make, you can put a date here and put your own signature. We don't ask you for your blood or something. <laughs> Just sign it, you know. Amen? Amen. We'll go on and you'll just pray and think about it, okay? Uh, don't, don't make it an emotional thing. I mean, just to know I can see you, but I tried this uh, Hollywood model many times. It's not working. Amen? This Hollywood model is not working. So I just uh, 
came to the point in my life, why don't I let God be God? So when my girlfriend Anne uh, came, just uh, we, we had a quarrel. We, uh, we were loving one another, but we were fighting <laughs> all the time. You know, demons inside of me, inside of you, you know, they were fighting, you know. Everybody, when they, uh, when they, uh, when you meet, uh, the first thing you try to do is just uh, to find out who, who is the ruler, you know. It's a fight for the government in the future family, you know. We'll be making decisions, you know. Ladies, uh, they say openly, yes, you are the head, but I'm the neck. I will turn the head any way I want to. <laughs> Is it the uh, God's model? Bible doesn't say, say that you are the neck. <laughs> that you are the mate, you know. Amen? Amen. But, but what do you mean, Pastor, that uh, ladies are not people or something? No, 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 no. We, we believe in equal rights, but uh, the decision making is uh, for men. Amen? Amen. Like, uh, he is supposed to be the head of the family, not you. Amen? And uh, the Christ is supposed to be the head of the husband. Amen? Amen. So, uh, let's go ahead, uh, Psalm 127, verse 1. Except the Lord build the house, they labor in vain that build it. You believe? Yes. Say amen. Amen. <laughs> Say that about the house, but uh, the family is the house, is the type of house. You know, uh, there is a saying that uh, the society is strong when the families are strong in the society. Yes. The society is weak when there are weak families because the society consists of the bunch of families. And if we have uh, weak families, the society, the country is weak. Amen. The church is weak when they have weak families in the church. So I'm very much concerned with uh, the situation in the families right now. When children are not taken care of, you know, when husband's uh, needs or wife's needs are not taken care of. Um, we believe that there is supposed to be harmony inside the God's type of house, God's type of family. By the way, uh, Dahav, uh, have I answered your question? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. If you have other questions, feel free to ask me while we're talking about how can we choose the right partner. So there's supposed to be a threefold. Uh, thread or something. Uh, actually, uh, the Bible says that we are supposed to match on physical level, on soul level, supposed to talk. You know, uh, as for Anne and me, we would uh, we always like to talk to one another. You know, uh, why don't just uh, become friends first? Why, why should you fall in love? Just become friends. And uh, see and uh, how uh, do you like talking to this man or this girl? Because uh, if she talks only about, uh, you know, the new dress or something else, or, uh, or sales, yeah, yeah, something else. <laughs> You're supposed to like to be around. Amen? Amen. Or vice versa, if he talks about sports all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, if, if you really uh, like to go to fall in love with you, don't talk about car parts, you know. <laughs> <laughs> she probably would like it, amen? <laughs> You're supposed to have some other thing. I understand that most of you are studying aeronautics or something, but probably
Maybe she is not interested in any uh, aeronautics, you know. <laughs> maybe not. I, I, maybe I'm mistaken. <laughs> Amen. Maybe she she goes with you, but she you know she is fed, fed up with this aeronautics, you know. So something else. Uh, uh, as for our family, we always like to be around and we always like to talk any kind of things. Spiritual things, by the way. You see, it's supposed to be um, comparability, yeah? Compatibility. What does it mean? For, say, for instance, I uh, am interested in the spiritual revival in Samara. And I say, and hey, let's go on Sunday to the church. But if she is worldly, she would say, well, why don't we go ahead and go to the nightclub? You see? And if, if, if the values are quite different, there will be disharmony. Amen? So uh, that's what the Bible means, by the way, uh, in the Second Corinthians 6.14. 2 Corinthians, let's find it, it's a very important verse. 2 Corinthians 6, 14. Uh -huh. Do not be unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship has righteousness with lawlessness, and what communion has light with darkness? Amen. Amen. What do you need? Uh, I, I don't think you need anything else to discuss. What does the Bible mean here, to be unequally yoked? What, what do you think about that? That's what just I told you. Because if the values are different right now, there will be disharmony. If you are spiritual and he is fleshly, there will be disharmony. And vice versa. Amen? Amen. Because the values are quite contrary. For me, uh, it is a value. Uh, as, uh, as for me and my house, we all serve the Lord. And we are on Sunday, we are in the church. There are no options, you know. But what about the kids? Alex, you're not supposed to brainwash your kids. You know, you're supposed to let them make their own decisions. Come on. <laughs> if I don't brainwash them, the TV will brainwash them. Yeah. The world will, the same will brainwash very easy yeah, there. Sure. Amen? Amen. Supposed to be in the church, you know? Amen? Amen. People think that, well, this church has very strict laws. Let's go ahead and find some other religious <laughs> one, you know? There was a priest, we'll just give him a little bit of money and he will marry us, you know. <laughs> you know, what I'm talking about. No problem, there are churches all around, go ahead and find it. But, uh, people don't understand that the primary eternal counseling is for them. It's for you to... And when, people, when young people come, and I just start asking the questions, you know, I don't preach there, I'm just asking them questions. For example, there is a question that goes like this. Why do you think you are supposed to marry him? And uh, I just stop talking and just listening. And people answering quite different things. Some people say, because I love him. Some people say, because he's handsome looking. Because she is a perfect match, she, she, her hair is very curly, you know. I like the type of hair he has. Well, what if he gets bald? <laughs> he looks like Arnold Schwarzenegger to me. What, what if he gets fat? So? Because I think he's a real man, he makes real good money. What if he goes bankrupt? Yeah. Will he love him if he goes bankrupt? You know, people, they uh, give vows to one another when they uh, in the church. They say, I will love you 
till the death do us part. But uh, do they really mean it? You know, there was uh, a man that was teaching on fundraising in Tariati not long ago. And uh, that was like a fundraising topic and uh, nothing special. But when he started talking about his parents, uh, I got a real deep revelation what, what the marriage supposed to be like. And he said, you know, um, my mama, uh, at certain age, uh, uh, she became un un unconscious and uh, paralyzed. And my daddy, for five or something years, he was feeding her from the spoon, you know. He was taking care of my mom. And uh, as a kid, I came to him and said, Daddy, how can you do it? I mean, how can you for five years just taking care of my mom? Uh, that couldn't even say thank you to, her, to him. And he said, you know, son, uh, when we are giving vows to one another in the church, I really meant it. I don't know about the people, but I really meant it. When I said, till death do us part, uh, I really was serious about this business. Amen. Amen. I just want you, you are young people, but think about it. Is this young man you are meeting right now reliable enough? What if something like this happens? What he will do? Or will she will take care of you if something like this happens? That's... Serious stuff. Amen? Amen. I, I want my wife or my husband to be the best friend of mine, first of all. You know, people ask me if you, if you have friends or best friends. My wife is my best friend. Amen? She is my lover. She is my everything. She, she is my best friend. Amen? It's interesting to be around you. She is growing spiritually, she is growing psychologically, she reads, she wants to learn more. It's interesting just to, you know, to lay in the sofa and uh, watch movies with you, you know, it's supposed to be interesting. Amen? Amen. Who told you that the Christian life is supposed to be boring? Amen? Amen. Amen. And when I ask people, what are you going to do? Okay, you you married. Say, for instance, you're married. What are you going to do? Oh, Pastor, we are going to have sex, you know. <laughs> so, how? I mean, the, the, the whole day long you're going to have sex. <laughs> <laughs> how, well, may, maybe the honeymoon, you know, but... I mean, no, normal people cannot... <laughs> They're supposed to work, they're supposed to study, you know, amen? Amen? Is it okay if I'm frank enough with you? Yeah. You, you're old, old yeah. enough to... Yeah, we can love, uh, it's alright to love, you know? But, you know, they, the people, the young people, they think about the sex all the time, you know? That, that's, that, that's the picture they have, but... Uh, but when they ask young people, where are you going to live? Well, we're going to live with our parents, you know. <laughs> you know, the Bible doesn't say that you're, so, you're not supposed to live with your parents. At least to move uh, and rent, at least rent, but don't live, with, don't make this mistake. I mean, you know, the first month when we married, we happened to live with my mom. And that was a mess. You know, mama loves his bo her boy. Yeah? <laughs> and uh, besides, in Russia, as you know, the space is limited. You know, there only one kitchen. And they are not supposed to mistresses the one kitchen. And inevitably, inevitably there will be quarrels, there will be problems. Uh, Bible clearly says that uh, you are supposed to leave your mom and dad. How? Physical, financial, emotional. You're supposed to be one body and one spirit and one flesh with your wife and with your husband. Amen? Uh, 
Hallelujah. Amen. So, uh, men and women supposed to be grown-ups when they marry. When right now you are not making any money, how are you going to live? Yeah. It's just uh, the way it is. I'm just studying now. Amen? Amen. And uh, please understand me, I, uh, I used to be young. And I know how you feel these hormones and stuff. <laughs> and uh, I, 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 we, we will pray for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and we'll pray for you. <laughs> I'm not. Uh, I'm not from other galaxy. Yeah. I'm, I'm from the the same planet as you. Amen. And I know how you feel. So. Uh, that's why we need God. Yes. Amen. We need God. Amen. And uh, when you're frank enough with young people, uh, especially with this generation, with all this internet stuff, and with all the, you know, people are from the early age involved in pornography and some other things, and uh, you know they're not supposed to do it, but they're involved. In and um, we, we, need, we need to believe God that uh, He will be able to strengthen us in the times of temptations. Amen? Amen. But I can do all things through Christ that transforms. Amen. 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 So, uh, spiritual level, spiritual level. We are talking about physical, yeah. By the way, physical. Take care of yourself. People say, well, he will like me the way I am. But don't use any deodorant, for example. <laughs> and when they worship, you know, all these things, they smell. <laughs> There are some uh, young people and they, they question, you know, there's a question in their eyes. How, how can I find myself a girlfriend, you know, just use deodorant, for example. <laughs> because even in, when, she, when he meets, you know, not on the internet, but in the real life, you know, and she will just smell it and, no, thank you. <laughs> Amen? Amen? Some people just don't wash themselves. I don't know why, but maybe they're hippies, you know, Christian hippies. Well, uh, we, in this church we believe uh, in order, we believe that we need to take care of yourself. Amen? Amen. Uh, you know, uh, looking good, is, it's like uh, you just put yourself on the market. You know, like uh, it's like an advertisement of yourself. Uh, most people really uh, they meet one another on the internet. Yeah, today, especially when they are in the old age, where can you? You can you cannot go to the disco to meet, but they just uh, use Facebook or something else like this, social media. Uh, but you cannot smell anything on the social media. You know? <laughs> one guy from our church, uh, you know, we really believe that he will marry one time, but he found somebody in the other city and uh, put a real good picture of himself there, you know, like a movie star or something. <laughs> but in the, in the real life, he is quite different. <laughs> he doesn't like to take care of himself, so when he. Uh, came back in, you know, he spent a week in that city, but uh, eventually uh, uh, she didn't like him, just came back. No wonder! Yeah. Amen? Because some people, they just live in illusions. Okay. What about your clothes? 
I mean, this shouldn't be something real fancy, but supposed to be clean. Amen? We're talking about physical right now. Supposed to be uh, some match. Amen? But you know, uh, sometimes uh, as girls, they, they never think that uh, they will marry, for example, the red-haired man. Okay? But why, why not? Yeah. Why not? Because uh, you just uh, have your own type of prince, so to say. But uh, God can... Uh, give you a quite different prince. Amen? Amen? Sometimes I look at the church and, you know, people, young people are supposed to just look around. You know? yeah. There's some beautiful <laughs> girls here. You know? There's some handsome looking guys, you know, real passionate, real anointed guys here. Where are you looking at? Yeah, I think that he's He's coming on the brand new white Mercedes car. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe not. Yeah, man. When I was meeting Anna, I didn't drive any Mercedes car. Yeah. Yeah, man. There was just a, uh, just a student. Just friendship first time. Amen. Yeah, yeah, um. <laughs> so, um, as for our personal life, uh, I would say that uh, we just started from the beginning together. It wasn't like I was a billionaire and she was a billionaire, you know, and we had everything and it was quite a boring life for us. <laughs> but uh, we started and we just together uh, meeting all these hardships in life, you know, all the challenges and little by little just uh, doing God's business, you know, and uh, it's interesting, it's just interesting. Young people right now, they just uh, want to have it everything and right, right now they don't want to wait for it, for nothing. That's very wrong. Amen? Amen. Uh, you, you're probably thinking that I'm just a man from the other generation, I don't understand how you feel. Well, I do understand. I used to be young, so I, I think I understand quite well. Amen? Amen. So, the soul level and the spiritual level. Uh, some, sometimes people ask, what uh, uh, if I'm charismatic, for example, what if I marry a Baptist girl? Okay? Yeah. Well, she's a Christian, I'm a Christian. Well, uh, I, I would say there's not a perfect match here, again. Because... Uh, you believe in the gifts of the Holy Spirit, speaking in tongues, for example, and she is not. So, how, how do you uh, think it will work out when you get together for prayer and somebody will She will be embarrassed, you know? It's supposed to be a spiritual match, yeah? Better, better go to the one church, better. Either Baptist, for example, or Methodist, or uh, Charismatic, but with one church. Yeah. Amen? Because otherwise, it will be disharmony. Yeah. You, you want to have problems in your marriage? Yeah. I know these couples. I know what I'm talking about. I know the couples that uh, he goes to this church and she goes to the Baptist church. Well, the children, I don't know where they go. <laughs> <laughs> if they go anywhere. <laughs> Uh, but uh, the thing that I am trying to stress the point is that suppose uh, you want a harmonious life amen and the harmony will be when you're on the same spiritual level or quite the same soul level okay because some, sometimes uh, the guy doesn't read anything and the girl reads so many books and she wants to discuss uh, that author and that movie star and, you know. My, my, my wife knows the names of all the actresses and actors in Russia. I don't know nothing about <laughs> <laughs> So, sometimes when there was a, the, the movie goes, you, you see, her uh, sister is a prominent actress in Moscow. 
That's why she, uh, from the early childhood the whole family would know the names of all the actors. But uh, as a boy, and I know I didn't care <laughs> all these actors, you know. But when uh, they start talking about it, and um, she will mention the name of that actress, and I will behave like I know, of course. <laughs> but, but she will look like, like to me like, Aren't you stupid or something? You don't know the, the name. No, well, I don't know the name. <laughs> well, that's not the big problem, you see. It's not a perfect match, but that's not a big problem, okay? If I don't know this name, I, I can learn, okay? But the problem is when, uh, uh, when people when, when really, when sh sh she uh, is not intelligent enough, yeah, and he has a higher education, and the second higher education, and PhD, you know, or something, uh, uh, well, it won't be interesting for them to live together. Okay? It's supposed to be at least the same level. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, what about this thing? I really felt like I need to challenge you guys. You know? You're ready to sign this thing? Can we pray? Maybe Royston can help me pray for this. You know? okay. I like the way he prays. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Take this thing and if somebody just distribute this. Uh, think about it uh, prayerfully. Just distribute all around. I have only 20. I don't know why. Maybe somebody will not be able to sign it. I don't know. Just, just take it, uh, study this thing right now, pray about it. If you are not ready to sign, that's okay. Please uh, don't feel any pressure to do it. Uh, <laughs> okay, that, that's all right. It's uh, it's the same thing with the water baptism. You know, some sometimes people ask me, uh, I was baptized so long ago. Am I supposed to be baptized again? You know, it's up to you. Maybe you need to sign it one more time. I don't know. Just ask the Holy Ghost. Okay. Think about uh, this Hollywood movie. Yeah? You want to try God's model? <laughs> you know Dima Gerasimov, who knows Dima Gerasimov? He goes to different uh, schools and institutes and colleges and teaches that you're supposed to wait. To wait till the wedding. Hallelujah. It's a challenge. Uh, he, he talks to just to normal, worldly young people about it. He challenges them. What about us Christians? We are called by the name of our Lord. Does it mean anything? You know, uh, you know, Ch China country. Yeah. Uh, anybody knows? It's supposed to be a communist country, right? Yeah, the Communist Party is uh, ruling there. And the communist young people, they say that we don't need your Christianity. You go, you Christians, you go to churches, but it doesn't mean anything to you. As for us communists, uh, we give everything to our party. We don't have any sex before marriage because we honor Lenin or Stalin, I don't know who. But uh, they have very high standard of sexual purity before marriage. And when they look, by the way, the Muslims are the same way. The Muslims, no, not all of the Muslims, but Muslims, they honor the marriage. Even some gypsies, gypsies are the same way. If uh, for some gypsies uh, family, you know gypsies, yes. it's strange, but I mean, they, they honor the marriage. They believe in... Uh